Hello, welcome. My name is Howard Lake from UK Fundraising and today I'm delighted to be talking to Richard Sved, um, a fundraising consultant who is also putting on um, a world first in the next, in March this year. Welcome Richard, how are you? Uh, hello Howard, I'm fine, <laughs> thank you. Um, you yes, I think it might be a world first, I'm, I'm pretty certain it is. I'm sure it is. It looks good. We'll come to that very, very shortly. Um, I was just reviewing, although I've known you for quite a long time, I was just reviewing your uh, Twitter uh, handle um, and your bio, and you've listed about eight or ten different ways in which <laughs> you work with, serve, um, and just generally help um, and inspire the charity sector, um, both nationally um, and particularly around St Albans as well, which I know where you're um, very involved. Do you want to just tell us about some of those things? You are a blogger, you are a trainer, a mentor, you're a charity consultant. Yeah, all of those things. Um, oh, yeah. So yes, I think we've known each other for 20 or so oh. years. Yeah. Um, it's lovely that we've both come dressed as air traffic controllers today. Um, so yes, I, I've i worked in the charity sector for all my, all my working life and worked and volunteered all my life pretty much since since school days um i i'm currently a consultant running my own company advising charities on fundraising and strategy and governance and communications uh, but the other things you referred to um are i'm a mentor i love mentoring and 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 find value from being mentored um with the tony elisha foundation i'm a trustee of uh, st Albans museums and galleries trust um, I am the co-event director of St Albans Park Run, which obviously currently isn't happening, but when it does is something quite joyous. Um, and I also uh, run an event in Hertfordshire called the Funding Network Hertfordshire. Um, and we've we've actually got an event coming up in a couple of months for that, which is, is along the lines of a Dragon's Den for charities where where charities pitch uh, to an audience of potential donors um although again that will be online sadly this year but it should still yeah. be great it is a fabulous model live crowdfunding i just it's very very exciting so very pleased about that brilliant so but tell me you've got in on march the 18th i believe you have a big event that you're putting together all live and online or pre-recorded but live online during the day tell us tell us more about your virtual summit Thanks, Howard. Yes, it's a fundraising strategy virtual summit. I, th I think it's the world's first virtual global conference dedicated solely to fundraising strategy. Um, it will take place on the 18th of March and there'll be speakers from around the world, um, expert speakers from around the world, but also um, people who are smashing it on the front line. So, um, all levels from organizations um people people who would would call themselves fundraising strategists but also practitioners to use a horrible word um and i think it's going to be fantastic it's it's a subject that's been close to my heart for for years and years and something that i've trained on um over the last five or six years in particular um and i know it it's needed now more than ever is is a phrase that is overused uh, but i really feel right now in in the midst of uh, the pandemic and and lockdown uh, charities more than ever need to be thinking about their fundraising strategy and and responding rather than reacting to it and so you've taken a, an international approach to this um, because we can learn um, from from many other people around the world. Um, do you want to share any of the particular threads or topics um, coming up? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so certainly we'll be thinking about how your fundraising strategy is aligned with your organisation's strategy. So isn't isn't bolt on, as it were. Um, how you decide what things to do in the first place. So um, what you need to assess, what you need to analyze, um, how you can bring your internal stakeholders and also external partners along with you, um, how you can strike the balance between things you need to do absolutely right now and things that need to be done in the future, um, how you implement that strategy 
across a whole range of income streams. So yeah, a, a wide range of things. We'll be having two rooms, one focusing internally um, within your organization and, and one looking at external factors, although clearly they, they all overlap. Yeah. And who's it directed at? Is it primarily sort of director, senior manager level, or would you say there's a role for all fundraisers to understand fundraising strategy? Um, I would say even broader than that, Howard, um, I think, yes, I'd, I'd love fundraising directors to come. I'd love uh, you to come if you're a, a sole fundraiser or a fundraising team member. But actually, beyond that, I, I think if if your role within your charitable organisation doesn't directly involve fundraising, but you want to know more about it or you want to know how you can feed into fundraising, for example, if you're a trustee um, or if you're running a programme um, for which you, you may be working with your fundraising team to, to get funding, um, I think it, it applies to you too. So fundraisers, non-fundraisers, senior fundraisers, junior fundraisers come alike. Brilliant. So this is all taking place on one day, on the 18th of March. And tell us where it's happening, which platform are, are you using? Uh, so it's happening in your office or in your front room. Um, it's it's a virtual conference and uh, it's using the a platform which I've become a real fan of since they launched um, called Fundraising Everywhere. Uh, and I think uh, Fundraising Everywhere have really captured captured the way to run virtual conferences because they they always have great conference uh, great content they they have a good mix of live content and pre-recorded um so very often i think most of the speakers will their sessions will be pre-recorded but they'll be there live so they'll be able to answer questions in a q and a session and also in a chat box uh so it's a lovely warm mix of um of attendees um, and, and a real real community feel to it um, and the content um, is available for a, a month afterwards for ticket holders so you don't have to be there at the time. Yeah I think that's one of the best things of it. Um, yes you can take part live but to be able to have the time for those of us that have other commitments um, working from home um, it's a it's a wonderful resource to be able to dip in at a time that, that fits, fits you fits you. So yes, I'm very impressed with with fundraising everywhere. So that's fundraisingeverywhere.com. I'll put a link in um, in on the YouTube uh, notes underneath this. Um, so this is the first time you've worked with them. Obviously, you've been to some events. Or have you have you taken part in previous fundraising everywhere events? Yes. Uh, so when they first started, I knew I knew the founders Simon and Nikki already from from meeting them at, at conferences actually in real life and um when they launched their their conference i foolishly said that i would live tweet oh there's my twitter handle i, I fully foolishly said that i would live tweet their whole 12 hour conference which which nearly did me in but yeah. but was was a good experience um that was their fundraising everywhere festival in november of 2019 which seems like a lifetime ago <laughs> yes. uh, but but that was when they that was when they started um and i've been a a, a fan of, of their platform ever since yeah actually i have to say your live tweeting skills are very very good and, and clearly <laughs> honed as well but it's just a wonderful because you set up with um a start off with one tweet and then you turn it into a thread so there's effectively one ongoing thread for whether it's an hour-long event or as you said you've even done a 12 hour one so yeah yes. these are fab fabulous resources concise um and informed uh, sharing of fundraising knowledge so yeah I, i'd like to say thank you for that as well and yeah. encourage others to follow you for that for that reason thanks howard brilliant so are there any i think there were some uh, early bird tickets available for the fundraising strategy virtual summit are we still within time for that we are still within time yes go to okay. fundraising everywhere.com forward slash strategy um brilliant. for your early bird tickets i will add that link in as well richard sped thank you very much indeed thank you howard